Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1409, recorded March 26th, 2013. A thousand tiny balls. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Man Packs. Manly goods on a schedule. Get started today and have underwear, socks, toiletries, shaving supplies, and more delivered to your door. Visit manpacks.com slash Twitter. Get $10 off your first order of $30 or more. Or buy a $50 gift card for $40. Manpacks.com slash Twit. And now, get ready for Dick. Ladies and gentlemen, pull up your pants, snap on your head visors, and get ready, because it's time for the same done show, Gizwiz time! It's the same done show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizwiz, because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Only three misspellings in that song, which is one per four. Oh, my God! Thrill cam! The best part of the thrill cam is when it hits the little rubber uh, urge sea urchin at the end of it. Wow. <laughs> oh, thrilling. Yeah, let's get the reverse, the reverse shot. Whoa, it doesn't go very far. Boing, 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 boing. Go ahead, take it. Snag it. Snag it. <laughs> Can you play that screams backwards? Yeah. Oh, I wish that I could. <laughs> there, by the way, a, a brief uh, cameo of the Thrill Cam technicians takes two people <laughs> to, <laughs> yeah. to launch that Thrill Cam. If you include Jason Howell, our producer, it takes three people. Yeah. That's not and including amazing, you and me. Yeah. And the amazing thing is the Thrill Cam people are on full salary. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they just do it. All they the do is... I think, well, I think this is where some of the overhead is going, Leo. It's because we're a union shop, and uh, yeah. you have to have a thrill cam foreman, you have to have a thrill cam journeyman, you have to have a thrill cam apprentice, and then you have your thrill cam intern, but you don't have to pay him. No, he, no, you don't. Well, no. yeah, actually, you do. You haven't read the new rules. You do. Oh, just no. Half pay. Just half pay. Don't just half pay. All right. But that's actually full pay because they're on double time. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Well, uh, well, if they're standing around, we might as well put them to work. You know what we need? Somebody in the chat room said he's absolutely right. Sp uh, Pete C says, you need a thrill cam brakeman. A guy you, you that, know, whoa, that, whoa, who's going to put on the brakes? Oh, no. I mean, we're paying them to be here. We might as well put might them to work. Well use it. Yeah. Okay, the lunch. It might be cheaper right. than the mason who keeps coming in to fix the wall. Oh, yeah. Well, these walls, these brick walls, they need to be maintained. We're having them repointed. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Look, there's the standpipe. Wow. <laughs> Speaking that's of a, the wall. That's a side of the twit you don't always see. <laughs> I don't know if that's the in or out and effluent pipe, but it's one of them. Aye. All right. All right. <clears throat> Actually, it's not. That's a, that's a fire. That's the standpipe for the fire. Oh, yeah, it could uh, be part. No, you, you have no bathrooms there. How could it be? The yeah, right, exactly. We, but, you know, they're talking about splitting the building. The what? landlord, well, you know, they have that restaurant next door. Yeah, yeah. The landlord wants to sell the restaurant to him but not sell this building because we won't buy it. So he wants to split them. And I don't think he's told them that our effluent goes to that restaurant. So they're going to have oh, to have word. some sort of... Easement. Always take out orders. It's an effluent no wonder easement. The place is closing. <laughs> Hello, Dick. How are you? <laughs> How is Good. winter treating you in the big city? Ah, uh, it's still here. It really I know. is annoying. I know. It's, yeah. Yeah. I'm we, sick. 
We're having wonderful weather. It's the yeah. springtime. In fact, the Butter and Eggs Day Parade is coming up next month. Oh, You got to wow. come out for that. Uh, one day I really will. I mean, it's on my bucket list. Oh, it should be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it, I've seen you. Uh, oh, wait a minute. You're going to have a camera outside this year? We could do how that. Close is, how close is it combined? Um, it goes down that street. <laughs> Over there, oh, that okay. one. So <laughs> I, we'd have to, we could put a camera on the roof. Actually, we'd have a great view from the roof. There you go. Yeah, we should do it from the roof. They, and, they, uh, and they would not know that na they're being internationally broadcast, the Butter and Eggs Day Parade. Wow. It's on the local cable. Uh, you could watch it on the local cable public access okay. channel. They always okay. broadcast it. But I don't think they go internationally. Yeah, well, and, you know, we could we could uh, stick a little bit of it into that Saturday's Giz Fizz. Sure. It the is chatter. Saturday. Yeah. It's Saturday. It's uh, It starts at noon. It's always over. It's 12.05, right? right? Yeah, it's over right after. Sharp. Five minutes later, it's over. It's a short parade. Dick, what do you got? What do you... We could, oh, somebody had a good idea. They could rig the zip line across the parade, and I could just make an appearance. Nice. Ah! I like it. I'm put me down for that. Put me down as a vote for that. <laughs> we'll put a throw cam on my butt. So what do you got for us, gadget uh, We have something new from us uh, talking to the people over at Maxa, M-A-X-S-A. And they have just released, according to them, the world's brightest solar-powered security light for oh. the backyard. A lot of people use these because they don't want to, you know, they want a light, but they don't want to have to wire it in. Exactly, exactly. And so what's nice about this is that the LED panel has a 15-foot cable on it. Mm. So you can put the LED panel anywhere where it's going to get maximum light. You can put the light anywhere close by up to 15 feet. But, Leo, this is their, I believe it's the first one where they're using SMDs, surface-mounted diodes. Ooh. They're using, I believe, uh, you know, I think he said it was 14 of them, and it's oh, uh, 650 lumens. <laughs> that's very bright. Yeah. So he told me that the, the biggest one they that they were making with LEDs had 100 LEDs. Holy and, moly. <laughs> but the 100 LEDs uh, put out 430 lumens. So this is brighter. Where, yes, this is 650. Wow. You know, so, all of this all of this has changed so much because of LEDs. You you know, I used to have, you buy the solar lawn, you know, lamps that light your path, and they supposedly, and they're dim. They're dark. They don't light anything. But that's because they were, you know, maybe fluorescent or inc incandescent. But with LEDs, and they're so bright now, you probably could do pretty well. Yeah. You know, what I, I have think. one here. I actually charge this one from my desk lamp. Wow! But you, how yeah, many, how I, many I, lumens I, is that? That it that is That's the uh, that that is wow. the guy. I mean, like shine I'm, that I'm, on your forehead. Well, let's see if we can blind <laughs> anybody. Yeah, let's let's see. <laughs> uh, Holy cow! Yeah, it's a little. That's little... that's bright enough to you know to know if there's somebody in your backyard. Yeah, absolutely. So it has a little adjustable dial uh, from ten seconds to one minute. Of course, it'll just stay on it's motion, longer. It's someone, motion yeah. sensitive, though, right? Yeah. Motion sensitive, exactly. Uh, has a light dog sensitivity, so if it's coming on a little bit too early when the when it's starting to get dark in your neighborhood, you can adjust it so it comes on either earlier or later. Um, and if it were to stay on the whole time, which obviously it won't, but it's a little more than ninety minutes at full power for the battery. But of course, every day. It's recharging itself through the solar panel. That is really uh, great. I, that's see now. This I mean, I, that sounds reasonable, and I think this would be a very finally a very good use for solar LED and backyard light. Perfect. No wiring exactly. needed. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, it's coming in at one hundred and twenty nine ninety five right that now. Expensive. Wow. Only one uh, place on Amazon has it because uh, the guy at Max has said they just released it last month. Um, but there are a lot of other lights that they make that are uh, discounted. But this is the newest. The old is... Brooklyn Yard light. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, if the old Brooklyn Yard light wasn't quite bright enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Leo? I could shine this light out my window toward Petaluma, I'd see and it. you would you would yeah. see more light in your brick house <laughs> than if you had the Brooklyn Lantern in your hand. <laughs> <laughs>
That's pretty good. Uh, That's pretty good. If, if you're keeping track of this, it is model 44640. From Maxa. Maxa. Gadget number two. Gadget number two. Now, what would you, let me, let's see if I can just, uh, let's see. What do you think this is used for? That's a Actually, knuckle is... duster, and uh, okay. you use that if you get in a bar fight or brawl. It's illegal in most states. Um, oh, no, this is not illegal, uh, Leo, because it's rubberized. Oh, it's, it doesn't, it's harmless. Uh, yeah, it's harmless. It's, okay. it's a kid's breast knuckle. It's a knuckle. kid's knuckle. <laughs> yeah, a kid's knuckle duster. What the hell? Okay. So this is the Broly. It's an umbrella knuckle duster. No, it's the Broly, so you can hold an umbrella and text. Because <laughs> your fingers go through there and they can still type? Your fingers oh go God. through and your thumb is totally free while you're holding. Well, yeah, this and is good, and you might break a finger, but it's worth it because you still can text. <laughs> well, you know, there's a little 30-second video uh, on the company website. Let's take a look. So, uh, Who's the Jason, company? I think. Um, it, it, it's, you have it up yeah, there, Jason? Yeah. It, it's brolytime.com. Well, I do. Uh, <laughs> it's so bright. Bro Broly's well, being be a little slowly. They must right be using now. that chat, that uh, special light. Oh. Have you yeah. seen the brass knuckles iPhone 5 case? No. Yeah, it's a, a knuckle bumper case for the iPhone 5. It's on Amazon. Uh, it's it's uh, it looks like it's made of metal. It's only four sixty four. It would be the first illegal iPhone case. So look at all oh. these umbrellas. Oh, here we go. There so it this is. is... <clears throat> wow, that's it's like Downton Abbey. So that's how. I, and I try with a real umbrella. It's really hard to. Oh, but look at that. Why you just type away with your fingers securely implanted in the knuckle duster yeah. now, the handle only of the umbrella. Is... Since I've gotten this, I, I, I stopped texting because it's not raining. <laughs> but as soon as it starts raining, <laughs> You'll get I'll texts. be out there. <laughs> wow. Out so there. this does he, do you add this to an existing umbrella? No, no. The whole umbrella, actually, it, it, it's, a, it's a very decent size. Sells for a little bit under 20 bucks. Oh, Dennis has been caught on camera. Oh, he's there again. Oh, <laughs> oh Dennis, f feeding the staff, huh? Yes, exactly. Um, now, you made so, me order this knuckle bumper case for the iPhone 4 and 4S. Okay, so, uh, um, all right, so anyway, aluminum construction. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. And how much is that guy? $4. <laughs> oh, now, okay. Now, which would you rather have, knuckle duster for your phone or for your umbrella? This one's actually metal. This has to be illegal. Yeah. You know what? If it's raining, I'll take the umbrella. I'll take them both. <laughs> I'm in for 25 bucks for the two. <laughs> wow. And by the way, it's from the well-known company, Unknown. Oh, okay. Man, you, you know, what happens if I click Unknown? Do we get all the, all the things that are made by <laughs> Unknown companies? We do. Look at all the things you can get from Unknown companies. An electroplated wow. hollow pattern case. Uh, Cosmos green wall adapter. This is better than... I'm not going to buy stuff on Sky Mall anymore. I'm going to buy stuff from Unknown. You know what? This, I think you just solved your problem. <laughs> they're pretty inexpensive, too. Well, they're all cheap. Yeah. Because <laughs> Unknown has no checking account. Yeah, you know, I think you should order the... Did you order the case? I'm going to order the case. Now, the, the one that I'm seeing is for an iPhone 4. I need one for the iPhone 5. Oh, someone in your office has an iPhone 4. Yeah, but no, but I want I want it for my phone. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I mean, we could first do it as as a as a gizmo on the Daily Gizwiz. And what you could do is you could fight two of your employees. <laughs> one will not have any oh, weapon. Oh, there you go. And the other one will be defending his iPhone 4. Oh, wait a minute. I found one for an iPhone 5. This one looks even better. It's in silver. It's a little more expensive. Oh. It's $12.99 plus 5 bucks shipping. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, but that's within your new budget. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The new budget I, is $19. I got to find one. Uh, oh, these look even better. This one's brass. Brass knuckles. Oh. Ooh. Look at that. Punch somebody with that. Jessica Simpson, Simpson machine cut knuckle case from Jessica Simpson. Now you know why she's, you know, got a mouth on her. She's got brass knuckles on her phone. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Dad, you know, it, is it only pink? But the somehow, Jessica Simpson one is. Somehow 
pink breast knuckles. Uh, yeah, they put you. They put of, you off, huh? Yeah, how about gold? How about solid gold or copper? Now you're talking. Now we're talking brass. Now we're talking copper. Solid copper. gold, two dollars and fourteen cents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, oh, hey, yeah. but it's four dollars shipping. The shipping oh, is more than the that's product. That's where they get you. That's where they get you. They do the old gold trick. Add the shipping. <laughs> I'm gonna keep looking. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find one for the iPhone five, for our next show. I'm gonna yes. get it express mailed out here. Here we go. Yeah. Marmiter, machine cut knuckle case for iPhone five. What does that mean? Machine cut, like as opposed to handmade. I think so. <clears throat> what? To, let's see. It looks like they have different colors. That's black. There's silvery white. I want the I want the gold one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is actually that is pretty decent. Yeah. And it's Amazon Prime, so I'm ordering that one. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's very that means also if it. you're marrying four people, it works. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I'll have one of each. Yeah, no, just cut the rings out. <laughs> you, you get... <laughs> Thank you. Your one-click order has been placed. All right, wow. for next week, I will have... Uh, oh, Leo, the guy's at the door. He's behind you. That Amazon <laughs> That's is That's the amazing. new Amazon. Hey, you there he is. <laughs> we knew you wanted it, so we delivered it before you got it. That's awesome. That's good. So that is... apparently, I thought knuckle dusters were illegal. But I guess if it's on a phone case it's or an umbrella, it's all right. Yeah, I think you just have to tell somebody that you're carrying it. What do you? Would you stop texting and pay attention to where you're going? What do you mean? <laughs> Pow! Yeah, take that! Oh, knuckle dust you! Bam! But then you're making a conscious decision as the puncher to get wet in the rain, right? Oh, you might get wet. Yeah, so. there you go. There you go. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> I'm going to suggest oh, to the man mean? packs folks that they start selling knuckle dusters. <laughs> That's manly <laughs> stuff. You know about man that packs? Is. Manly goods on a schedule. Men's underwear. Yeah. I got my underwear. I get my underwear in the mail every three weeks, three months. Socks, razors, condoms, whatever you need. Uh, thousands of men have already signed up. And if you sign up today at Man Packs, we're going to give you a little bit of a deal, $10 off. That means uh, on an order of $30 or more uh, or buy a $50 gift card for $40. Uh, they've got boxers. They've got briefs. They've got boxer briefs. If you can't decide. They've got briefs for boxers. <laughs> Uh, they have shirts, all kinds, crewnecks, v-necks, tanks, and in all different uh, manufacturers, or uh, I don't you call them manufacturers, all kinds of socks. I just got some really good socks I like um, from uh, Man Packs. I get the Moses. Yeah, I did too. I got a pair of very the jocks, colorful socks. The jock socks. This is like a mesh on the top, so your top of your feet don't sweat. Mm. Yeah. I love, now that I'm shaving again... I love the uh, the uh, grooming lounge shaving stuff. That's great. But you can get other kinds, too. And this all comes on a regular schedule. So you're ordering ahead, you know, razor blades, whatever it is you need. You're ordering ahead uh, so that you never run out. Sir Richards. Ooh, maybe I'll get a royalty. Yeah, yeah, you should. What else is that? What's under other? Now I'm getting, now I wonder. Oh, you got... Uh, oh, breast knuckles. Breast They've knuckles. done it. <laughs> Thermal pants or oh. vitamins. I guess other is thermal pants and vitamins and chapstick. Manpacks.com slash twig get $10 off. Any order of $30 or more or buy a $50 gift card for $40. Thank I got you. my first man pack a uh, week and a half ago. It's kind of Great. Nice, it's awesome. I get you know toss I out now? some old pairs of That's socks. That's exactly what I do. I pick old, the three yeah. oldest pairs of socks, mm -hmm. underpants, and T-shirts. This is probably too much information. <laughs> and I throw them out. Actually, I don't throw them out. I put them in the rag pocket because they're great. They make great rags. I open the Mac Pro because we're going to be doing an upgrade on Thursday for before you buy or for uh, know-how. It was so dusty. Only two and a half years old, but man. So fortunately, mm -hmm. I had an old T-shirt. Polished that sucker up. Nice. That's another thing Man Packs is good for. <laughs> Manpacks.com slash Twitter. <laughs> Gadget number three, Mr. Dickie D. Gadget number three, Leo, is a viewer's video. You know, you can send us your video in four categories. I invented this, my favorite gadget of all time, a gadget I could not throw out, so it would be your uh, sort of own gadget warehouse thing, or the best gadget I ever had. And so this came from Dave, and this is probably the first video 
of the 2013 holiday season. What 2013 the, holiday season? The upcoming, you know, like, you know, like everybody. This is a Christmas well, video you got here? It's a Christmas video. Holy it's moly. It's a Christmas video. It's and not the reason even we're Easter doing, yet. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, was it was it. It happened that Dave sent us his Christmas video, I think, on January 20th. But it was kind oh, of fun. okay. And I'll, I'll just read his little note. And uh, he says, hey, Dickie D and Leo, the link here is for your Gizwiz show. It's my, it's one of my inventions. Oh. It's, uh, it's my Christmas tree hydration system. Ooh. It's an alternative way to water a tree with none of the crawling around uh, sign Dave. So here's Dave's viewers video. Oh, I hate watering the tree. <laughs> hey, That's pretty dry by right March, now. I guess. Oh, oh, I'm in a mess. Quick, get a towel. Oh, man. Hi, Dickie D and Leo. I hate watering the tree. Did he shoot it this through his door? And especially if this package is around, you can't get to it. <laughs> I, I don't However, know how you shoot a video. We used to have a, a, a small stand that um, the tree would only fit in. It was a very, it was very small, but it, the tree would fit in, but you could hardly get any water in it. So I came up with a system. Uh oh. The Christmas tree hydration system. This is when you know you're what in trouble. Is, I came up with a system with water in it. And a rubber stopper oh, wow, and a couple of hoses that go down into the tree stand. Oh. And as the tree sucks the water out of the stand, the water in the bottle replaces the tree. It's like an IV for your the water tree. Totally. <laughs> and you're all set to go. <laughs> That's a thirsty tree. Wow. Wow, that's right. No it's wonder like it looks so good. <laughs> uh, he probably just saves it year to Used year. This for several years and hasn't had a problem yet. And the water stays nice and supple. This tree was put up around Thanksgiving, and here it is a week after New Year's, and the tree is still nice and soft, and the pine needles do not come off. Because <laughs> they're plastic. You know what? It's a, an artificial tree, <laughs> but no one it. has That's the nerve to tell them. Uh, tree hydration system. <laughs> Dave, we get that out of the attic every year, Dave. I thought you knew by now. It's not a real tree, Dave. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very funny. My uh, favorite part is the acting, where he leaps uh, under the, the acting, tree. Right. The acting's great. Wonderful yeah, acting. acting. No, the funny thing is, we, before Dennis moved in upstairs, there, there was a lady there who lived there forever and was very nosy. If I was out in the yard, she would just sit in the window and watch everything. And I, I'm, I don't have a green thumb, so I went out and I bought a lot of artificial plants and I made sure she wasn't at the window for a minute, and I stuck them in the ground, <laughs> and she was there. And I got a watering can. And I watered them, and I put the dirt around the base. And about six months later, like October, she said, you must have a green thumb because oh, the yeah. flower still looks so pretty. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have said, well, I had the water irrigation system that my friend Dave Ortha told me about. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, actually, in all seriousness, that's a very clever idea because it does, it will, you know, you could have a gallon worth of water. It'll just, it won't, I presume that it won't overfill it. It will just fill it as I think it's it, just the level of the water as it gets low enough, then it, it just, puts more in well, and it's quite clever. It's balanced. Quite clever. You get one for Ozzy when, you, when you're uh, away. Well, I think, you know, I've seen um, uh, dog watering systems like there that, are, right? Yes. They work yes, just like are. that. Yeah. There are several. Uh, so if you have a Gizwiz video, um, just put it on YouTube. Send Jason the link. and the We'll try address. to show it before the end of the holiday season. <laughs> we'll get yeah, to yeah, it yeah. eventually. <laughs> We're looking for 2014 holiday video. <laughs> we've, already, we've already done all of our 2013 holiday videos. Uh, I invented this. My favorite gadget ever. I bought a piece of crap. Or my gadget warehouse, something you can throw out. Gizwiz at twit.tv. Yes, send us your videos. Yes. Are and you now, ready? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. it's time for. I'm listening. It's time yeah. for. Yes, I purchased some more crap at Sky Mall. <laughs> I ordered about $1,000 worth of stuff uh, last week, but it's not over yet. I'm thinking, though, that I've got about eight or nine weeks worth of Sky Mall stuff in the pipeline. And I, it was hard to find. This was, I think we are now at the bottom of the barrel. 
This was okay. it was this was the last three things we're going to order from uh, we could conceivably okay. order from Sky Mall. Right. Hey Leo, how about we we ask for suggestions with a link, a piece of crap Leo should buy. Yeah, you buy it though and do a review of it. Because I'm well, sick no, of that no. buying stuff from Sky Mall. No, no, it, it wouldn't be from Sky Mall. It would be anything. Oh, from, from anywhere. Anybody. Well, let me show you. you. Know, okay, first of all, let me show you. With a twenty-five dollar limit. Okay. Twenty-five dollar limit. Well, I wish yeah. there was that were the case. Okay. I don't think we're going to get that. So let me show you uh, last week's vote. How should okay. Leo waste his hard-earned money this week? And it was uh, strawpoll.me slash ninety nine seventy. Let's check the results. Was it the man game, the soft serve ice cream machine, or the oh. home mushroom garden? The results are in. And it's unavailable. Service unavailable. <laughs> That's not nice. Let's try no. that. It's not coming no. up. What happened? You know, a straw poll, uh, Dan Dirk's production, has uh, been blowing up lately because this was 99.70 this week. The, the next one is like 11,000 something. So there's like 2,000 straw polls this week, and I think that's what's happening. I got it. We got to, we got to, we got to, can we get the code and run it on our own server? Well, there it is. It. There's the winner. Here we go. 510 votes total, 367 for the soft serve ice cream machine in pink. Nice. Oh, Mushroom Garden, 97, 93 votes. Just 18% in the man game, only 10% of the votes. So let me show you what we're getting. And by the way, we're getting this. For you know who, because Liz promised she would serve us soft ice cream in her Star Trek dress. <laughs> oh, she put it in a cone. It's some kind of weird. It's some kind of weird fantasy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> she, no, I think she's in the dress. The soft serve, God only knows. Oh, um, okay. It's okay. from Cuisine Art. It's uh, ninety nine dollars. Oh, oh, it'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. I'll order that right now. And we should have that in the next four or five years. Just well, in time for the holiday season. <laughs> so, there you go. Now, you want to see what our next uh, batch of crap is? <clears throat> and I think I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to say this. The last batch of crap from Sky Mall. We'll find something else that's going to get us at least two or three months in. So, we're talking like July before we run out of stuff yeah, here. Okay, good. So, this is the last batch of stuff I'll buy from Sky Mall. Although I'm pretty darn excited about this, the Grill Sergeant Barbecue Apron. I want to buy this because I'm figuring Whoa. I will give this to Henry for his high school graduation gift if uh, if we get it. That says style. It says he likes to grill, and he likes his beer and ketchup. Yeah. No, when I, every time I see him, he's got a bottle of ketchup and a bottle of mustard. And I said, Henry, you should get something to put those in. And he says, yeah, but what? It's perfect. It's got pouches for everything. A six-pack of beer. You got your, your barbecue sauce. Your spritzer, um, built-in opener, pockets for everything from tools to condiments. One size fits most. You'd have to be pretty big for that not to fit you. Yeah. Fully adjustable. Um, although one customer review says cheap and too small. <laughs> okay. my, my husband is a large man, and this apron looks more like a bib on him. Now, I, <laughs> I got to tell you, unless this guy is a midget, this is not that small. No, this looks big. I think she had a fairly big husband. It's 34 inches long. That's almost three feet long and 27 inches wide, two and a half feet wide. I think big enough, but uh, we'll be the judge of that, won't we? If, yeah. If, yeah. if you select the Grill Sergeant barbecue apron, but there are other choices. How many times have you gone to the dentist, got that bib clipped on and thinking, gosh, I could use this at home? It's the napkin clip... From Gold Violin, yeah, clip what? your napkins right on you. Are you allowed to own these and not have a dental degree? I think this is probably uh, an exception in the law. Yeah, you know, I would be wary that you could get arrested, but if they're selling it on Sky Mall, it means nothing. It, it, you well, know, they're saying that it's not available for shipment to Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. So those are probably the last oh, remaining those, places those where it's illegal to have one. The laws do yeah. not allow us to yeah. sh ship you these. Turns any napkin or dish towel, if you're really a slob, <laughs> okay, <laughs> into wearable protection. Two oversized clips connected to a metal or decorative chain make it easy to keep clothing covered during meals. Mm -hmm. Ideal for dining out. Oh, I'm going to wear this next time I dine out. That's yeah, Leah, sure. the old underwear you have, you can use <laughs> you it go. as a bib. You know, 
you, you got to look at this and think, this poor woman, she got the call. We've got a modeling assignment for you. You're going to be going over to Sky Mall. Uh, it's going to be a, they want to, they want to. Oh, yeah. I bet they want me to wear the Star Trek dress. Yeah. All right, lady, put this on. Wait a minute. Am I at the dentist's office? What is this? Oh, no, I already have makeup. No, <laughs> this is not a makeup. This she's is got, She's got product. that pain smile that says, give me the money, let me get out of here now. <laughs> exactly. I and you put a bar across my face. I've reached a new low in my modeling career. The <laughs> Sky Mall bib. All right, well, that's uh, item two, the napkin clip. Finally, item three, you'll be proud to wear this on any wall. It's the extension cord winder. Yes, you know how extension cords are so long and unwieldy? Well, now the extension cord winder solves that problem. Sure, it looks like a meat grinder hanging off your wall. Permanently. So yeah. what? You know what it does, Leo? It takes a 50-foot extension and makes it into 15 <laughs> three-and-a-half-foot extensions. Doesn't it, look, doesn't it look like a grinder cutter? It looks like it chops it up. Each Wonder Winder outdoor cold hold cord holder comes with two twist lock mounting plates. Install one extension cord winder mounting plate in the basement and another in the garage. Oh, you could take it with you. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. Extension cord winder can be set for right or left-handed use. Always something important to me. And wow. uh, this is actually, you know, this might be useful. Yeah. Can double as a zip line. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Benefits of the Wonder Winder extension cord winder. It works inside or out, rewinding a 150-foot cord in under a minute, depending on cranking cord speed. Cord not included. Yeah. Yeah. Outdoor cord, cord holder stores 150 feet of 16-gauge cord. Yeah, of course cord's not included. Keep your extension cords from getting tangled or knotted with the outdoor cord holder. Cord winder can be set for... This is very exciting. And you know what? I am going to, I, uh, it turns out we already have the napkin clip. And so, oh, yeah. Oh, Burke oh, made yeah. me that. I, <laughs> wow. That's, that's a black market item right there. Yeah. Dude, except no counterfeit napkin clips. No. I don't know. That looks like a counterfeit napkin clip. All right. Here's our uh, straw poll. Cast your vote for the last Sky Mall purchase ever. Strawpole.me slash 11941. Hit it, Maestro. Almost topped 100 votes already, and as you can see, the Grill Sergeant Barbecue Apron is in the lead. Henry's going to get a wonderful high school graduation. He's a lucky, gift. lucky guy. He's a lucky wow. guy. Wow. But wow. it's not over yet. This, we'll keep that vote going all week yeah, long. Yeah, this is so much better than the car he wanted. <laughs> this he really wanted. <laughs> he does want a car. He does want a car, and I, I'll, he'll be happy to see I got him an apron instead. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, give him the uh, bib uh, winder, too, that you're wearing. <laughs> he'll All never right. know it. It's, he'll never know it's a re gift. Here is my Sky. Actually, he's going to get this, too. This is my Sky Mall purchase. You may remember this from a few weeks ago. I mean, this took me a while to get yeah, this. I just wow. got it you know, today. This, look, this actually looks good. Yeah, it's the Jensen DJ Scratch Mixer. Um, it's got a stereo headphone jack, stereo microphone jack. Cross fader between two aux in sources, multiple sound effects. Um, but what's cool about this, it has a uh, a uh, cradle for your iPhone or your iPod, I guess. So I'm going to put it in here. It does not use batteries. You have to plug it in. Okay. All right. Jensen's, you know, well known name in uh, yeah, Jensen is car good. car stereo. Yeah. So let me plug it in here. Give it some power. Now I don't have an aux. Or is this the this is line out? What is the what is this for? Oh, you gave me the wrong one. Here we're gonna get different wires here. Okay. While I'm while <laughs> while I'm docking my phone, I guess it has a different. Uh, there we go. All right. So should I put line out? Line out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. Wow, I, I that's, recognize the sound. That's the sound of fidelity just, right just like there. Just like Jimi Hendrix tuning up his guitar. <laughs> And then uh, here, and I have a top-down camera right over here, right. although it's a little oh, bit. Oh, you know, it's not going to work. I brought the wrong phone. This is a lightning connector phone. I need the iPhone four or uh, anybody with an older iPhone. I can't. Uh, 
Well, you know, it's interesting because it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. So it, it turns out it doesn't matter because that's just the holder for the iPhone. Uh, you still just you go You still have to plug that. in the, uh, the audio oh, jack. Oh, oh. So I have that. <laughs> doesn't matter. As long, oh, we just, but you got to plug it in upside down if it's an iPhone 5. But that's all right. I don't care. So all we're right. going to. So put, you can use an Android phone. You can use, you anything. Can use anything you want. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You could use, you know, anything with a, with a jack. So there's okay. Aux 1, and then I don't have anything for Aux 2. I guess I could have put my... But let's just, let's just see what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some music here through my iPhone. Here, and let's see. All right, here's some Lady Gaga. Huh? And uh, turn it up. Oh, yeah, not, DJ. Turn it whoop, on first. Whoop. Here we go. Here we go. Turning it on. Oh, I okay, hear it. yeah, now you hear it? A little bit. Okay. Now there's scratching. <laughs> Maybe I have to do this. <laughs> this is good for four-year-olds. Wow. <laughs> Here's beat. Whoa, you're totally remixing right now. <laughs> See, I've faded to the other channel, but I don't have uh -huh. anything on the other channel. So, Leo, can the other channel be a CD then? Yeah, it could be anything with a little mini jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, woo! Do you think the bib takes away from it at all? No, I think it enhances it. Man, this is seamless right here, I gotta say. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Even the thrill cam is dancing. Wow. <laughs> and how much was that? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Piece of techno equipment, I'll tell I you. I gotta that. see though, because I, I think it, here, one of the one of the selling points of it is it works just as well with classical music as it does. Oh yeah, I'm sure yeah. it does. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Let's just play a little classical uh, music here. This is actually a classical song being remixed. I know. I can't. It's stretched all the way out. I think. Oh. Here we go. I get a little more. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and what do the dials do? They don't seem to do anything. Oh, okay. There's also a microphone input. Did I mention that? <laughs> wow, no. it just keeps getting better and better. What? There's more? You, you can sing, too. Um, wow. So what is some? What is a piece of a... I think it was 99 bucks. It wasn't expensive. Like, I think it was 100 bucks. 100 bucks? It wasn't okay. too expensive. I mean, it's as expensive, but it wasn't... Okay. Given what yeah. it does, it was very expensive. Yeah. And, and what's the name of the product? The Jensen? It's, it's the Jensen uh, DJ Scratch Mixer. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, I'll read you what it does. Because maybe okay. you didn't really realize. Two built-in auxiliary input jacks for connecting your iPod MP3 or other digital audio players. As long as it's got an audio, you know, a mini jack, you can do uh, it. Yep, yeah. okay. Crossfader between two sources. So I can go, that's all the way to the, that's this. And all oh, the way okay. to the, right? Okay. okay. Scratch jog wheel. 
That must be this. That's that. EFX okay. tempo mic control cue controls. That's what these knobs do. Like that's mic okay. volume. That's effects. So I could turn that up or down. Okay. <laughs> uh, I could turn the tempo up or down. There's no effect on it, but you can turn it up or down. No, it's slowing it down. Listen. Oh yeah, yeah. There it goes. So with classical music, you probably want to use the slower. Yeah, that it adds a lot. <laughs> Wait a minute, shush. <laughs> Line out jack for connecting to your home stereo system or portable amplified speakers. Stereo headphone jack, stereo microphone jack. Everything you needed in here. To to be a to club DJ. Music. See, when yeah. you look at the box, it kind of implies that it's like oh, at a sorry. phone dock. But that's not really, that's just a holder. For something, it could be anything. Because oh, okay. really, okay. there's no, there's no. See, I thought, oh, there's going to be a, connect there's no connector. It's just coming off of that. Okay. Hmm. Um. So is this a? a I don't know Henry what these buttons Henry do. Oh, that's a drum cue. <laughs> this is a digi cue. But you don't have different digi cues. Just that one. Yeah, so this will keep Henry entertained for... Oh, man, I gave him the other thing that was actually cool. The drum machine, it lasted about 15 minutes. This has got to be like a minute. This would be the perfect graduation gift, yeah. honestly. You know, I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going all in. I'm going to give him every bit of crap yeah. I bought at Sky Mall. I think, I think I'm nice. Henry, you've won a prize package worth thousands of dollars. <laughs> wow. Here's the head massager. Here's the ostrich pillow. Here's the DJ scratch machine. Here's the throw can. Here's the gong. Here's the union suit in rainbow colors. Here's, are you getting, are you getting the, are you getting the message? It's not one, it's not two, it's not three gifts, Henry Laporte. It's 53 <laughs> gifts worth a total of $5,875. All for you from Sky Mall. <laughs> Some objects may not be as described. <laughs> Delivery guaranteed within the year 2014. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Henry Laporte, you're going to be glad you studied for four years and got wow. straight D's. You're going to be proud of yourself <laughs> because, no, he's actually, his grades have really come up this year. He's got straight A's, I'm very proud to say. Whoa. Um, yeah, yeah. And he's, uh, yeah, he's doing independent study in music, so this will fit right in. He yep. can bring this yep. to school and say, look, I'm learning how to be a DJ with my DJ Scratch Mixer from Jensen. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Now you know why I'm not buying now you, any more stuff at Sky. Now you know yeah. what $100 now gets you at Sky. Well, the good okay. thing is you know, it's not hard to spell DJ. <laughs> how do you spell DJ? Um, there's an R in there. <sighs> Um, yep. I think a, a Q and an R. <laughs> Q and an R. The R is silent. All right. So there you Those go. That's Q. the thing I got Ooh. from Sky Mall. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, that thing is so convenient. <laughs> and then it just hangs off your neck. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So it's always available. <laughs> it's Yes, yeah, <it's> great. <laughs> whatever, whatever you need it. <laughs> it looks like a piece of Indian jewelry. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, is that a snot rag hanging from your neck? <laughs> yes, uh, you never know. <laughs> Design a snot rag. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you perhaps are, have figured out by now that Dick and I are on the opposite coasts of the country. I'm here yeah. in beautiful California, the land that time forgot, but Dick is in the center of the world, the navel of the world, Manhattan, California, where he <laughs> lives with dicks. I'm, I give up. Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When 
Gadgets pass away. Ho -ho! He takes them out to play. Ho -ho! It is Gadgets Warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, what do you got in the gadget warehouse? Uh, okay, well, it's a little quiz. Oh, good. I like quizzes. Product dates back to 1925. No, it's a player piano. No. All right. It's been manufactured ever since. Is it that uh, shoe measuring Herrick no, device? No, 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 no. Okay. It, it, it's changed a little bit from year to year, but basically it's the same. They've made like cosmetic changes to it mm, so 1925. it is 1925 1925 the light bulb no was man you know you you lived in the city for a while i did it it was a very famous sign and it was manufactured in long island city okay uh, i'll tell you this you'll find it in almost every office every office ups no no. No. Okay. Sign. Oh, I know. I know. Our our credit manager's name is Helen Back. If you want credit, go to Helen Back. <laughs> right? Okay. Something like no, that. No, not exactly. Not exactly. All right. So you don't use mm. these often. It's a pencil but, sharpener. No. But when you go to a trade show, you yeah. at every booth you say, Do you have a Do you have uh, a uh, bathroom? No, no. They hand you your business. They hand you a business card, yeah. And you pick up literature, and right. then you say, "Do you have a pen?" I'm sorry, stapler, the original swing line stapler, yes. ladies and gentlemen, swing from 1925. Now, this, is, this is not the original. Wait a minute. Somebody's but, selling this on eBay for $15? Yeah, Leo. It's the exact <laughs> one I had. I, I took from uh, Goodson Todman. <laughs> Wait a minute. And, Wait a minute. Yeah. Stapler has a few scratches and wear. Great look. Needs to be cleaned. Yeah, Leo, you're, leave, <laughs> you're leaving out the key word. What's that? Vintage. Vintage. Vintage swing line stapler. But how old is that vintage, really? Is that a 1953 swing line or what? No, no, it is probably from the 60s, but they were all metal back It's from then. Mad Men. Yes. Well, they don't right. make them metal anymore? Um, I, you know, I... I like, I, I like how this guy describes it as a nice military brown color. <laughs> that's what I love, too. My, my, I, I always thought mine was tan. Nice. But it turns out it's, it's nice. Military. It's a nice military brown. Military brown. Obviously, the guy's a great uh, eBay seller. He doesn't have any bids, I notice. Yeah, no, no, it actually I'm... sold, I thought, for 18 No, no, no. It said zero bids. The next yeah. bid would be 18 I see. Oh. And it ended, by the way. And $7 shipping. <laughs> yeah. 22 bucks. Yeah, I'll, I'll sell I think you could buy one at Office Depot for 5 Do they not make metal <laughs> ones anymore? You know what I? I Let, don't, let's see. Liz, Liz is bringing us oh, the okay, modern good. swing line stapler. Oh, you know what? It's not the same. First of all, it's a nice military red. Yeah, it is it's plastic. Russian it's Russian red. It's plastic. It still says swing line in the beautiful script. And look how it's. You know, this is vintage too. It's worn. It's the red stapler from Office Space. This is from Office Space. Have you had my stapler? My red stapler. It's just here. Do you remember how much it cost? Oh, that's a solid that was staple. The, the, the chunk. Yeah. Yes. Does this work with both iOS and Android? No, <laughs> it's iOS. Cross platform. Oh, nice. Mm. Nice. Now, how much would you pay? Yeah. Well, how much did you buy that for? Mine. Oh, how much? <laughs> she says six bucks. Oh, okay. Okay. It, but that one does not have USB. No, and it's not military brown, no. and it's not from Mark Goodson, Bill Tobin Productions. Yeah, so you have the same one. Is that you selling it on eBay? No, I'm going to ask. If he gets $18, I'm going to put mine up for $19 <laughs> because mine's more famous. It ended. Nobody bid. It ended. Zero bids on that. Oh, it ended already? Yeah. Well, look, that's oh. what it looks like. No, no, I'm not an eBay expert, but yeah, I'm only right. starting say, bid, 15 bucks, zero bids. Well, price, what is that? If buy it now, price is $18? Yeah. You have right. to be but, nuts. Uh, it should say uh, auction ends. Yeah, in... ended March twenty sixth. Oh, it ended today, seven a.m. Oh, we were too late. We oh. just missed oh. it. 
Wait, oh, wait, and this, sta <sighs> this stapler could have had a mate. Now, this is oh, something new. I didn't see this. This is new on eBay. There's some buttons there that say like, want, or own. I oh. think, Dick, you got to click it and say own. Own, I do. Own. Pwned. Oh. Own, own. Owned. Owned. <laughs> And I did not steal it. When Good St. Todd was closing, they just sent a notice. Say, take around. anything you want, yeah. We are bringing up dumpsters if you... I have some if... Tech TV letterhead for the same reason. Oh, did you? Okay. Because they yeah. were moving... It wasn't that they were closing, but they were moving to L.A., so the old... The, uh, it's, in fact, it's, I have a bunch of... I have reams of it because <laughs> they didn't yeah. want it. And I you thought, know, could, well, I'll just cross out you? the address. The paper's still good. Yeah. While we're thinking of it, could you tell Fred Reek that those checks on the uh, text... <laughs> Hey, when she shouldn't somebody, be using the, those it, checks. It's, I think it's in the cabinet there. There's, ask Frederick. There's tech TV letterhead. I just want to... People don't believe. They think I'm making that up. Oh, no. I would I believe I just thought it. it'd be kind of cool to have tech TV letterhead. And it says, you oh, know, whatever it is. What was it? 550 Townsend Street. I have 485 Madison Avenue Med Station. See, isn't that cool to have? Move? I bet I could sell those on eBay for $15. Oh, Yeah. If you would what sign else you it, got? You look at all the swing line staplers on that here. That was the thing, Leo. eBay is like, th there's like two pages. Do people buy these? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, look, wait a minute. No, I like that one with the big knob on it. That was one of the real. Yeah. 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 But seriously, come on, folks. Is it? Well, I mean, well, my, my, my famous stapling letter when I was on 60 Minutes with the mad guys, uh, Molly Safer said, What's the hardest thing about putting Mad together? And I said, stapling it. So <laughs> everybody laughs. And three days later, I get a letter from a cord stapling. Uh, dear sir, as we were watching 60 <laughs> Minutes, a gentleman there who works for Mad Magazine said they were having people stapling it. We can help we make that. We make staplers, and we can staple anything. Please get That's in touch with hysterical. <laughs> Is that a riot? That's hysterical. Can you still get staples for that old swing line? Uh, you can. You can. Yes. They haven't Although changed. I took enough that I could, I could probably staple uh, until death. This is why Swingline really isn't stay. You know, they should modify the stapler form factor so you have to upgrade. Well, there are a bunch of them. There really are a lot of them. Look at that. Because they made. So, in case you didn't believe me, I don't know how we can do a close up of this, but here it is: Tech TV uh, letterhead. You can see the Tech TV logo. It oh says, yeah, a but Wired World Company. Wow. Look at that. And it's oh, got the old address, 650 Townsend Street. So, and I got somewhere I have the paper that goes with this. So, if you get, <laughs> you know what I should do is write recommendation letters for Leo Laporte and the rest of the gang. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. <laughs> Which camera? Would... The one above me? You can see it? Can you zoom in? Or I can zoom oh, in. Do I have the means? There we go. Well, you can't see it any better. Yeah. But there it is. Isn't that cool to have? So just like you, when you know when they were shutting it down, I just took the old stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What I wish. Oh, Jim Tez in our chat room says I made my own tech TV letterheads in high school and I got an A in art class. Yeah. I'd like to He's see. He's serving those. about three years now, I think, in prison. <laughs> that art class. Oh yeah, it's uh, a yeah. occupational therapy. That's what that is. <laughs> I'm learning a skill. It's called yeah. forgery. So uh, uh, I did. I wish there's a few things. I wish I'd taken the staircase from the old screensaver set. Somebody else got that. They really? Somebody got it. I was ah. talking to some guy like t 10 years ago. He said, yeah, I got that. It wasn't 10 years. It was more recent. He said, yeah, I got that in my barn. I said, what? He said, yeah, they were dismantling the set. I took it. Wow. I have Arlene Francis's mask from What's My Line. Oh, that's that's nice, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does it have like a little bit of a like a salty sweat stain on the forehead? No, it had no. little fake pearls all the way around. Oh, she had a special mask. Yeah, she had a she special. She had a girly mask. A girly That's mask. That's kind of neat to have. Yeah, and they were yeah. going to throw. I, I said, Billy, what do you, he said, take them. Oh, they throw I, all this stuff out. Are you kidding? What are they going to do with it? Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. What is this? The olden days? Asks James Spawn. No, you're right, James. I think it would be a good time for a letter. To the editor. This is what your DJ session should have sounded like. <laughs> Now, 
Now, no, no, so I'm going to do two of them because they're very short. The first one I'll read, and the second one has a uh, a picture that Jason's going to bring up. Joe Wilson says the subject is keep it up, and the uh, email is keep up the good funny shows. I mostly like security now. Thanks for all the hard work, <laughs> Joel Wilson. It is so, a hoot. If you've ever heard Steve Gibson, a howler. Yes, exactly. exactly. Funniest show on the network. <laughs> <laughs> and now from Larry Fowles, F O W L, uh, oh F O W K E S, and and Jason Fowles. has the, fo folks. the photo for this, folks. Uh, Dick and Leo. Apparently, someone else bought the pillow and even used oh. it in public. Oh. I think it was a wise decision oh. not to try it out. What does that Larry accomplish? Fultz. What does that accomplish? Well, I, I, I cannot. First of all, you're right. On an airplane, I, I don't get it. It, it, <laughs> it does not accomplish. You know what? I've, I've decided it was some strange Dada-est joke. Yeah. That it wasn't. They they would. They, it's like a forty-five. No, it's like a ninety-dollar face mask. It, all it's doing in this photo is blocking out the lights right. of the guy's eyes. Yeah, and adding weight to his upper head. What <laughs> happened to ours? Is it still around? I think it leaked. I think it leaked little white balls. You know, did on the Maybe, very first day. Yeah. You know, judging from the mouth and nose, was he at the studio at any time? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that he could took be it. a flight from. You know what? Maybe from, he stole it. Yeah, Busted. a flight from San Francisco. Busted. Here is from uh, Vince 360 a picture of Arlene Francis in her oh, there mask. There you go. There you go. I have that mask in the warehouse. That actual mask. That actual mask. Wow. Wow. You could. Uh, that's a Halloween costume in the making. All you need is a little bit of a wig, some lipstick, and uh, you're set. Big earrings. And a Star Trek dress. And I think if you had, if you, um, if you had. Uh, the mustache with that, no one would know it's not Arlene Francis. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's making oh. a lot of noise. I apologize. You're taking just... off your underwear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, now it looks good on you, actually. I was ready I for a nap. Way... I, I guess it's just the way you wear it. Yeah. It's just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Somewhere yeah. on this, there's a piece of gaffer's tape where the hole is. Yeah, there. That's where it was leaking. <laughs> what, is, what is leaking at? What is in there? The, that is, the, don't you hear that rattling? That's what's leaking, the stuffing. Uh, the stuffing? Yeah. Okay. I could be that guy. One of the things about ostrich pillow owners is we all look alike. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. He probably has the knockoff of $45, so you must feel really good that you have the original for you, 90 You know, that's a sure sign this thing is not taking off. You don't see the, uh, the Chinese knockoffs. No. No. Well, Dick, it's it's been uh, really a slice. It's been super. It's I am been... not an animal. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> Appearing this weekend in <laughs> the elephant a local head. theater, Leo Laporte <laughs> is Elephant Man. <laughs> okay, I am a man. <laughs> Dickie so D. play the what the heck is it game. Go to gizwiz.biz, click the what the heck is it link, and you will see. You know, it's too bad we've we've put this ostrich pillow on the air. You could have used this for the next one. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Nobody gets that. There it is. There's the gadget. It's a blue towel ring, folks. I hate to spoil it for you, but it's obvious. So go ahead. Make up some clever answer, because I've already got all 12 Mad Magazines for the right <laughs> answer. Exactly. Autographed. Twelfth guess. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Autographed. Uh, hmm. See, that's what's hard about this. It looks like a, you know what it is, but you don't. You don't. You yeah. don't. No. Yeah, it looks like actually it looks like the the right and left hand side of your ostrich pillow. <laughs> you see the two blue rings that show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a perfect, there they are. It's a perfect match for the there blue ring are. in my head. <laughs> Do not mock my ear holes, Dick. <clears throat> uh, someday you might look like this. Yes. And you'll uh, be sorry. I, probably at least three weeks away from me. <laughs> my skin started to sag, and then all of a sudden, ostrich head. <laughs> Uh, Dick D. Bartolo, gizwiz.biz. He joins us every week at this time to do the uh, Gizwiz show, but you can also catch the Giz Fizz, which is Saturday afternoons right after the radio show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. 
Eastern Time, 2100 UTC on twit.tv. What I love about that show is you, uh, you honor... A member. Why does it rustle when I speak? <laughs> you honor you. I got a because there's a million tiny little balls. Tiny little balls <laughs> rattling against the microphone. You honor uh, a member of the chat room, and I and I think that's really oh, it, great. It's it, it, it's uh we're actually up to 31 giz fizzes. Wow. And so we've done at least two dozen video guests, and it, it's always the same. Oh, I'm so nervous. Something, but then it's just great because the chat room loves finding out about those names you see, but don't know what's behind the name. So, no, yeah, I, anyway, uh, to me, it's, it's one fun. of the best things we ever uh, did, and uh, I thank you for thinking of it. Yeah, F and Dunn has just sent us a picture of his swing line stapler, and uh, and actually right next to it, there's a picture of him in the. In his navy uniform that he uh, wore when he was using it. Oh, that looks just oh, like it's yours. Mili also, oh, military he, brown. Yeah, military. It should be military white. He's a sailor, but yeah, I guess yeah. it, the, the government doesn't waste money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they made them use the same one. All right, Diggy D. Okay, buddy. You know, I just went to sleep. I got stung by a bee, and this happened. <laughs> I thank you so much. We'll see you next time. I'll be here. Bye-bye.